Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Podwise to add metadata to your podcasts. So to get started, you just need to import your final podcast mp3 file into the program, or drag it across like so. Once imported, you can see that the episode title is automatically filled out based on the file name of the mp3. All other important information, such as the podcast title and author, as well as the episode description, can be added easily by simply filling in the fields. Podcast artwork can also be added very easily. Simply drag it in like so. Now, for information that doesn't change very often, such as the podcast title and author, as well as the podcast artwork, it's often convenient just to use the information from the last exported version. That's why Podwise has a recent function. If I go to Recents, you can see that I've recently exported a podcast by the name of Tangential Soup, and as it happens, that's the podcast I'm working on today. So by selecting that, it will automatically fill in the information from that previous export, saving me a lot of time. So I'm just going to quickly fill in the episode title and summary, and then I'll explain how chapters work. Now that I've added the basics, I could stop here, but for longer form podcasts, it's often nice to add chapters, so listeners can easily skip between sections. Podwise makes adding chapters very easy. All you need to do is enter the information in a timestamp title format. So you simply need to put a timestamp that has minutes and seconds, separated by a colon, and then the title of the chapter. Hours are also supported, should your podcast be that long. When added, you can see in the play bar very easily where all the chapters are and quickly skip to the exact point in the timeline and play them to make sure that they're at the exact timestamp you need them to be. It's also very easy to add a chapter at a particular point. If you're playing the podcast back, say I want to add one here, you can either use the keyboard shortcut Command N or just use the little plus button and it will automatically insert a timestamp so you can quickly add a new chapter title. Should you wish to, you can also add links to your chapters. All you need to do is add the link within square brackets at the end of the chapter title, like so. And as you can see, once added, the link will become clickable so I can verify that it is indeed going to the right location. It's also very easy to add artwork to each of the chapters. You can click on the little image icon next to each chapter. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop the artwork onto the chapter. Once you're happy with all the information, all you need to do is export it. And as you can see, we have our saved file over here. If you import it into an MP3 player, we can verify that all the information was captured and saved correctly. And it's that easy. Thanks for watching.